Hey there, how's it going everybody? So, in this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to get open data from the Living Atlas platform. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to explain to you what the Living Atlas is. So basically, the Living Atlas is a platform which contains your data and your information that has been collected all over the world, which has been proved to be authentic and has also been verified. So, within this platform, we can get all sorts and kinds of data from open streets uh, to fire data to yeah, any kind of data that has been verified from all over the world. So, within our project here, we've been working with our COVID-19 data for Zimbabwe. So, let's just say we wanted to compare these statistics to the world. So, in order to do that, we need to have a layer which contains COVID-19 data for, for the whole world. So, we, we can get that data from the Living Atlas platform. Okay, so as you might have seen here, our usual catalog has disappeared. So a lot of people might get confused uh, when, when things like this happen because we accidentally closed this panel when I, I think when I was doing when I was doing the previous tutorial. Okay, so how do we get our catalog panel back? So over here on our navigational tab, we just navigate to view, and as you can see, the, there are options here. So we just click on catalog pan, and then our catalog will be back. So in order for us to connect to the Living Atlas platform, we need to be logged in into our ArcGIS Pro account. So, and then within our catalog, we then navigate to portal. So once we click on portal, it begins to access everything which is within our ArcGIS online organization, including other online resources that we can get. So this, as you can see, this is my content within ArcGIS online organization. So in order to go to the living Atlas platform, we need to navigate to this last, uh, last icon. So you just navigate to the last icon. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of data within this um, Living Atlas platform. So some of the data that is contained includes world imagery, uh, hurricanes and cyclones, National Geographic world maps, uh, satellite data, and, and all sorts of kind of data that you can they can begin to imagine. Of. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to add COVID-19 data. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna type in COVID. So that's because that's the keyword and then I'm going to press enter. So it's going to start searching within the living atlas. Okay. So as you can see, we just typed in COVID and it listed all the data which contains a COVID tag within it. As you can see, the data is quite a lot. So what I, what I need is data which has been published by verified organizations. For example, the Johns Hopkins University. They have a repository which is uh, within the Arcgis platform which contains all data which is actually up to date. So I think this is this one. As you can see, it gives you the information of, of the owner and the dead which has been last modified. So I'm just going to right click on this data and then I'm just going to say add to map. So as you can see, the data has been added to our map. But unfortunately, we removed uh, the base map in order for us to see each and every country. But I'm assuming that this dot right here represents Zimbabwe, and then this dot represents Botswana, and then this dot represents Mozambique. So now what I need to do is I need to uh, view the extent of this data in order to verify if each and every country has been represented. So what I need to do is I just need to say zoom to layer, and then it's going to zoom to to an extent which is going to allow me to view all this data easily. So I'm just gonna say, uh, okay, right there. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, yeah. It was still processing in the background, so yeah. That's the data for the whole world right there. So, uh, I'm just gonna add the bass map in order for you guys to see if this data is corresponding to each and every country which is in the world. So I'm just going to add this topographical map. I'm just going to leave that for a second. So I'm going to pause this video and continue after it is loaded. Okay, so as you can see, uh, there goes our bass map which is has been covered by all this COVID-19 data that we just uploaded. Unfortunately, uh, I can actually expand this data in order for us to see what is being represented. As you can see, the data already comes with the default labels that it was set with by the publisher. OK, 
Okay, so I'm just gonna turn off these dots and just gonna turn off these counties again in order for us to just see the statistics for uh, for the whole world without having to see statistics for the United States and other counties. Okay, so that's it. So I'm gonna just gonna show you guys another trick within this video that you can also take advantage of. As you can see, this bus map, it's just uh, it's just a topographical map. You can also add a uh, base map of your choosing to your data so I'm just gonna turn off this base map again and I'm gonna try to select from um, from a list of, uh, of, of base maps that exist uh, online so which base map can I actually choose so I've seen uh, quite a lot of dashboards they have uh, a base map with black so I think it's kind of the dark grey canvas of the street tonight but since we're not going to be representing our data according to street at street level, it's according to country level. So I'm just going to pick the dark gray canvas, and I'm just going to apply that to our map. So you can see it's updating best map layer. So I'm just going to leave that for a bit. Okay, it's still processing our base map. Okay, yeah, there we have our base map. So. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you have learned how to you how you can get data from the Living Atlas. You can also search all kinds of data and add it to a map. So, please like this video and share it with other people who would like to use uh, these tricks in order to implement within their projects. And I hope you also subscribe to. This